Lorcan entered every aspect of Anuel and planted an idea which was based on limitation, outlining a plan to create a soul for the Orbis, a place where the aspects of aspects would be able to self-reflect. Because of his words, he gained many followers, including Oriel, who was told by Lorcan he would become the king of this new world. As such, they created Mundus, where their aspects would live and became the Atada. However, Lorcan had tricked the spirits. The world held many limitations, because of which it hardly belonged to Anu. Mundus was the house of Sithis. Many of the Atada vanished as their aspects began to die off, while some attempted to escape, like Magnus, which is the reason why magic has no limitations. Other Atada, like Ifri, became the Elnofe, so the world would not die. Deities had to marry and make children in order to survive, with each generation being weaker than the one before. The Aldmer believed to be descendants from this line. Lorcan made armies out of the weakest souls and created men. With the world being created, Oriel pleaded to Anu to take them back, but Anu refused. His soul granted Oriel his bow and shield so that Oriel might be able to save the Aldmer from men. Some of the Aldmer had already fallen, such as the Chimer, who listened to the Atata, who were tainted, or the Bosmer, who had taken Manish wise. Oriel did not have the means to save Atmora, and it was lost to men. The elves of Atmora were chased south and east to Aldemaris, with Lorcan being close behind them, shattering the land. Trinimac, the champion of the elves, eventually knocked down Lorcan in front of his army and took out his heart. The armies of men took the body of Lorcan and swore blood vengeance on elvenkind for all time. When Trinimac and Oriel attempted to destroy the heart, they were unable to do so. So Oriel fastened the heart to an arrow and shot it across Tamriel. This is how the Altmer of today see the history of Mundus and the war between the old Elnofe, who the Altmer claimed to descend from through the Aldmer, and the wandering Elnofe, whom they believe to be the ancestors of men. Lorcan is the god of men, and Oriel the god of the elves. This is a war that has gone on before time was recorded, and nearly all knowledge of that time has been lost. However, the Altmer believe that it was because of Lorcan that they are in their current weak, mortal form because he tricked the Atata into creating Mundus. Therefore they have lost much of what they were, as they consider themselves the weakened descendants of long ago powerful spirits without limitation. One of the ways to weaken and destroy Mundus and Lorcan's control over this world of limitation is to control the towers and possibly even destroy them. Once they are gone, then Mundus might possibly be unmade, and the Altimer and Almer free to be who they used to be who are powerful spirits without limitation. Thus Lorcan's creation, men, are in the way of this. Men and Myrrh, to the Altmer, will always be enemies. The world of Nurn is now safe from Arun's Dagon safe from an invasion from any oblivion realm. Emperor Martin Septim sacrificed himself to make this happen. There are no more oblivion gates open all across Tamriel anymore, and I say thank the gods. Thank the gods that we are free and safe from this terrible threat. If Maroon's Dagon had succeeded, I think our world would be a lot more like Mankar Cameron's oblivion realm of paradise. At the least, I have gotten this beautiful flower that I was able to give a few to the Arcane University to study. They took great interest in it, though they informed me that they are aware of this ambrosia flower. But it originally came from other planes in Oblivion. They will now attempt to plant and grow new ones in the Arcane University from the samples I gave them. It's not every day that someone can open their own gate to a different Oblivion plane. As for what will happen to the Empire, other than the talk about Emperor Martin Septim's sacrifice, this is what's on everyone's minds. Obviously a new emperor will be named, and a new line of them will rule the Empire. Though I don't consider the next few years to be easy, as there will be lasting effects across Tamriel because of this. As for me, well, with the urgency of the invasion gone, I can take a few things slower and more easy. 
I have a lot of work from the guilds to still do, and that is where I will focus my adventures for the next while. Remember, I would like to be a high-ranking member of the Mages Guild, or to possibly one day even lead it like my grandmother did in the College of Winterhold in Skyrim. Then there is that little thing about becoming a god. I still have those ingredients to get for Vilya, so I will give the merchants across Cyrodiil a few days to restock before I visit them all again. Well, I find myself in Shadenhall. So it would seem that here, my adventures after the closure of the Oblivion Gates will begin. <sighs> that was a uh, that was a bit of a restful night. Um, not restless, restful. And of course, I didn't have to say anything to Vilya. Yes, I'm up. We are in Shadenhill, and we are going to look for the Dark Brotherhood, which, according to my journal has an abandoned house in the city of Shadenhall. And attempt to open the door... I must go and attempt to open the door to the basement. One question I must answer with Sanguine, my brother, to gain access to the secret Dark Brother Sanctuary. Once inside, I should speak with Ochiva. I don't know where an abandoned house is here. Hmm. Did I put it down in my map? Well, my direction sense is only so good. It's not usually tell me what... It doesn't usually tell me where everything is. Oh, well, there's an abandoned house right over here. It's very early in the morning. Apparently the high elves are out. What's this about? Dead cats. All the Dunmas here look so sad and frustrated. I bet that they would much rather be in Morrowind. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff going on in Morrowind as well. It's not just our our province that we're in here. Is this this is this is not it. The next one. Well that looks abandoned. Yes, I have a bit of an eerie feeling about this place. Somebody smashed up all the furniture. Well, there's a door to a basement, and typically the basements are where all the, uh... I don't know, the blood sacrifices to... Who did he say to the, the mother? I would think. There's a book here. Waters of Oblivion. <laughs> okay. Waters of Oblivion. A hundred and twenty numbered ages in the void that faded folk had grown deep, schooled in evil. Then the bright gods resolve to punish those faithless spirits and shatter the unruly caitliffs, those huge unholy scathers, loathsome to the light. They repented exceedingly that they had gazed upon oblivion and seen there the first of darkkin and welcomed them as brothers and sisters. The principalities of victory held, beheld how great was the wickedness of the wayward spirits and saw that they were bold in sin and full of wiles. They resolved then to chasten the tribes of Daedra and smite dark kind with hammer and hand. But ever shall darkness contest the light, and great were the powers that breathed the void and laid waste upon one another, and no oath might bind them, so deep were they in envy and perfidy. For once the portals are opened, who shall shut them upon the rising tide? Not exactly sure how to take that book. I've been in Oblivion, or... Uh, Maroon's Dagon's Oblivion plain enough. 
Okay, so is this the door I knock on and said Sanguine, my brother? Apparently not. I can open it. I really ought to do something to clean this place up. Oh. Well. That's a foul looking door if I've ever seen one. Very eerie. I don't think I like this, actually. <sighs> what is the color of night? A mysterious voice poses a question. What is the color of night? Sanguine, my brother. I gain entrance into the Dark Brother Sanctuary. I must now speak with Ochiva. Welcome all. Are you Ochiva? Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Oshiva. Lucien has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Now, I've kept you long enough. Vicente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. Wait, uh, I have some questions. Where is this Lucian Lachance? Lucian isn't here very often. His duties with the Black Hand keep him very busy, the so Black he Hand. trusts me to keep the Sanctuary in order. What is the Black Hand? What can you tell me about the Night Mother? To employ the services of the Dark Brotherhood, one must perform a ritual to the Night Mother. Only then will she heed their prayers for murder. <laughs> it is an ancient rite, this Black Sacrament. All across the Empire, every day, People beseech the Night Mother to take the lives of others. After a person performs the ritual, they are contacted by a speaker. Gold is exchanged, and the details worked out. So, it has always been. Hmm. Well, this is the Sanctuary of the Dark Brotherhood, huh? Ours is not the only Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. There are others, hidden throughout Cyrodiil, each one overseen by a Speaker of the Black Hand. What can you tell me about Sithis? Those fools in the church and their so-called nine divines. There is no divinity beyond the eternal and terrible rule of our dread father Sithis. Really? Because I just saw it in action a short while ago in the Imperial City. Sithis be with you, brother. I'm never going to say that, but... That nice young lady blacksmith who runs the March Rider. He always looks so sad, you know. The next Black time you go out, hmm? maybe you could give her a smile. So, being a part of the Dark Brotherhood is beseeching the Night Mother for people who've requested murders? And they must get paid for this. Another Argonian. I wish to welcome you to this sanctuary, my newest brother. Hmm. Brother remains to be seen. Besides, this isn't as dark as midnight as she was stating. Well, I'll, I'll put it on when I have a chance, but not right now. I welcome you to our family and the sanctuary. May you find yourself at home here in the loving embrace of Our Lady, the Night Mother. The Night Mother. So where is Lucian? I know he's not here, but you happen to know where he is. Ochiva and I have known Lucian since we were hatchlings. He is the one who trained us in the way of the Shadow Scale, and is like a father to us. Shadow Scale. 
I don't know what that is. Sounds Argonian. What can you tell me about the Night Mother? The Night Mother is the Dark Brotherhood's unholy matron. She guides our actions, just as the Dread Father Sithis once guided hers. What can you tell me about the Sanctuary? I've heard the Count of Shadenhall knows about the Sanctuary, but he is offered much gold, as well as other incentives, hmm. to keep his mouth shut. So, bribes to look the other way. Alright, so, tell me of the Shadow Scale. In the Argonian homeland of Black Marsh, those born under the sign of the Shadow are taken at birth and presented to the Dark Brotherhood. A Shadow Scale hatchling is trained in the arts of stealth and assassination and lives a life in service to the mighty kingdom of Argonia. Any Shadow Scale who lives to come of age is accepted into the Dark Brotherhood as a full member of the family. So it was with myself and Ochiva. Why aren't you two over in Black Marsh then? Why are you here? If you're in service to the Black Marsh. Hmm. What can you tell me about Sithis? Who is Sithis, you ask? Some call him the Dread Father. It was his terrible love that gave birth to the Dark Brotherhood so very long ago. Terrible love. That's a new one. Goodbye. Sithis be with you, brother. What is this, a book all about the Dark Brotherhood? The Five Tenets. Tenet 1. Never dishonor the Night Mother. To do so is to invoke the Wrath of Sithis. Tenet 2. Never betray the Dark Brotherhood or its secrets. To do so is to invoke the Wrath of Sithis. Tenet 3. Never disobey or refuse to carry out an order from a Dark Brotherhood superior. To do so is to invoke the Wrath of Sithis. I think I see where this is going. Do what we say or invoke the Wrath of Sithis. Ten of four, never steal the possessions of a Dark Brotherhood or a Dark Sister. To do so is to invoke the Wrath of Sithis. Ten of five, never kill a Dark Brother or Dark Sister. To do so is to invoke the Wrath of Sithis. And there ends the book. This must be some sacred skull of someone that they murdered or assassinated, or maybe it was one of their members at some point. There's a skeleton walking around. You must be a, a mage of some type. I've heard so much about you. You have? Welcome to our family. Not a bad looking woman. Welcome, brother. She's so good to finally meet you. Breton, too. I, I hope you're getting along all right. Yes, I am. How do you know Lucien Lachance? I will always think of Lucien Lachance as my savior. When he found me, I was living in a gutter, an inch away from death. I owe him everything. You do. What can you tell me about the Night Mother? I've always wondered who the Night Mother really is. Some say she's an old woman who lives somewhere here in Cyrodiil, but I'm not so sure. She seems made up to me. <sighs> I better be quiet, unless I invoke the wrath of Sithis. Heard any good rumors lately? I'm glad that the Oblivion Crisis is over, of course, but I can't help wondering what happens to the Empire now? I have no idea. That's a good question. Without the, an emperor, well, they're going to have to put somebody else in place to lead it. A new emperor, I take it. What can you tell me about this sanctuary here? Have you ever lived on the streets, struggled to survive? This sanctuary is my home. Here I have the safety and love I've searched for all my life. I don't think that would ever happen to me. I know enough about uh, making potions. I can just live off it. By myself in the wilderness. Plus, I was taught how to hunt when I was young. So, what can you tell me about Sithis? Sometimes, right before a kill, Sithis speaks to me. He whispers in my ear and fills my heart with the joy of suffering and death. Shiagorath has taken you, I see. Sithis be with but you, brother. Why, sister? What's the point? Why should anyone bother Hello there. All that sneaky... Hello? It's my pleasure. Please continue. My elves are so tall. Uh, walk always in the shadow of Sithis. Okay. 
Our very existence relies on shadow and deception. Do you not value our secrets? Yes, yes, of course I value our secrets. And I've never betrayed them. But using stealth to kill, it's just so weak. But brother, what of the contracts that require subtlety? I like it together. You must at least strive to earn the bonuses that are offered. Bonuses? <laughs> Useless, I say. Gold and magical trinkets are no substitute for the freedom to slaughter anyone I please. At any time. Sounds like a typical work to me. Oh, Gogrin. <laughs> your methods may be crude, but your heart is always in the right place. Yeah. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Hmm. Hello. Warmest welcomes to you. I am Talendril, Wood Elf, and loyal daughter of Sithis. I hope you find our sanctuary to your liking. I can see you're a Wood Elf, and a bad-looking one either. What are you talking about Lucian Lachance? Actually, Lucian did not try to recruit me. Not at first. He tried to kill me. My father wanted me dead, and he hired the Dark Brotherhood <laughs> to do it. I escaped from Lucian, and paid my father back for his treachery. Lucian came to me again that night with an offer I just couldn't refuse. Join or die? What's your opinion on the night, Mother? Our Lady is surely an ancient and powerful elf. Our Lady? Someday, when I am listener of the Black Hand, I will look upon her beautiful and unholy form. Listener of the Black Hand, huh? This is all new to me. I don't really know much about the Dark Brotherhood. What can you tell me about this sanctuary? In truth, I miss the towering elms of my native Valenwood, but I was banished from there for deeds I don't care to discuss. This is my home now. Seems like a running theme among everybody here. Mayhem, murder, stealth, death. What do you know about Sithis? Long ago, in an age now forgotten, Sithis came to the Night Mother and begat her five sons. So you see, his love gave birth to the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> Walk hmm. with darkness, child of the Night Mother. I've walked with enough darkness in my life. My life is about walking with darkness. Oh, we're supposed to go see somebody. So good to see you. Must accept a contract from Vicente Valteri. Is there anything you need? Is this place collapsing? Brief history of the Empire. Oh, they're gonna have to write a new book to add to the end of this. And what might your be then? Be your name? The silent type, huh? Oh. Well, this goes up. It looks like a well. So, Jout, Vilya, please move. Sithis will feast on your soul. Well, at least everywhere I go, people kill oh, rats. No. That's kind of normal. What? Huh? I've already met them. I'm looking for this. There you are. Welcome. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. Chote. Never get in front of somebody using a bow. Uh, I don't see anybody. You smell of death. Yeah, that's Been the high elf I talked to. Dead things? It's a wood elf. What would that matter? You guys are all about death. I'm not talking to that orc unless I have to. I take this this the chote. It's down here. Maybe I'll find the Night Mother down here, too. Well, it, it doesn't look that bad. It was much better than the prison cell I was in for eight years. Ah, here you are. So Ooh. good to finally meet you. I think you're a vampire. Warmest greetings to you. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtieri. I provide assignments for all new family members. 
Mm. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. Well, it does. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. And you are very gaunt. Now, if you're you ready to get feasting. to work, I can provide you with your first contract. My first contract? Well, you need to feast. Uh, I don't like the idea of working with him. Vampire. I don't. I can't stand the undead. But whatever. Profit and power. <sighs> okay. First, before we get to this contract, why don't you tell me about Lucien Lachance? When I first joined the family, this sanctuary was controlled by another speaker. Lucien took over when she was killed while fulfilling a contract. Tell me about the Night Mother. The Night Mother speaks to only one member of the Dark Brotherhood. That's Lucian, right? The listener of the Black Hand. And when Our Lady speaks, death follows. Heard any good rumors lately? I'm glad that the Oblivion Crisis is over, of course. But I can't help wondering, what happens to the Empire now? Hmm. Which everybody's wondering that. Tell me about this sanctuary. This sanctuary has been here since before even I joined the Dark Brotherhood, and that was 200 years ago. Hmm. Tell me about Sithis. Sithis is the darkness of time immemorial. He is no Daedra and dwells not in the realm of oblivion. No, Sithis is something altogether different. Hmm. All right, let's hear about this contract. A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold, and we remove someone from existence. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself, who keeps the Dark Brotherhood's end of the bargain. So it has always been. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. Now, let's begin, shall we? I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship. I hope it's Surrounded North by his crew. Interested? I'd do it for free if I was here to kill orcs. Yes, I'll accept this contract. Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain... Gaston Toussaud. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaud in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Hmm. Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight may prove invaluable. Have you anything more to say about this contract? As a pirate... Gaston Toussaud has certainly spilled his share of blood. Someone wants revenge, and they've hired us to extract it. Hmm. Okay. Walk with darkness, child of the Night Mother. I take it this is your bed, sleeping slab. Just don't bite me or I'll bash your skull in. So good to see you. Is there anything you need? Yes. yes, dearest brother. Is there something I can help you with? A little odd to start calling me brother right away, but whatever. I've got this contract to kill this pirate in the Imperial City. I've travelled by prison ship. It was cramped and dark. There was little room to move around, but plenty of shadowy nooks to hide in. Remember that. Hmm. Perhaps Walk I'll go in darkness, at night, then. child of the night, mother. I can't really wear this armor, but I do have... Let's see. Well, that gave me that armor. I'm not really skilled with wearing light armor, but I guess I always could as I make these assassinations. I also picked up Mankar Cameron's robe before we left his plane. It's worth quite a bit. In fact, the people... The merchants won't even have enough gold to cover that. Even halfway... Uh, I can sell this acrobat's a amulet. But yeah, I do have my own thing, uh, clothing, but it provides no protection. But with light armor, I would... I'm not really skilled in stealth, though. But I guess I'll have to be. 
I was practicing sneak. I shouldn't say I'm not skilled. I am. I was practicing quite a lot for the uh, Thieves Guild. Hello. It's good to see you again. I hope your contracts have been giving you much pleasure. Pleasure? Well, I, uh, I bought this contract to kill the pirate in the Imperial City. What do you th how do you think about this? How do should I go about doing this? The Marie Elena, you say? I've seen that ship. There's a unique balcony at the stern. My guess is it leads to the captain's cabin. Could be useful. You're saying I could just hop onto that, open up the door, and kill the captain? Sit this be with you, brother. Oh, I haven't been this way. Oh, that is a mighty big rat. Hello? If it isn't the newest member of the family, let's get one thing straight. The tenants prevent me from killing you, but I don't have to like you. I'll sell you equipment, but only because Ochiva is making me. This family doesn't need any outsiders. <laughs> Friendly sort. You sell Bye, spells. Sisis. I don't have all day. Hurry it up. Well, I can open up any lock. Visibility could help, actually. Sneaking with invisibility in my light armor would make me practically unseen. That's a good idea, actually. Um, I think I have the illusion skill to use this as well. Perhaps I should have asked for a lower price. But I have a lot of septums, so... Just take your trinkets and go. Let's see what you have to sell. Bye, Sittis. I don't have all day. Hurry it up. A grand soul gem? Well, I'll buy that. I'm not sure how many hammers I have. I've got enough. 21. A poisoned apple. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Just take your trinket. Okay, enough. Let's see what? if I can't cast a spell. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Where would that spell be in my... Uh... Where would the spell be is a good question. This should, should be right here. Okay. Not chameleon. Chameleon would be nice as well. Major life detection. Uh, deathly visage. Fuck always in the shadow of sin. Uh, unfortunately, my skill is too low. Yeah, this um, illusion was more my sister's. Skill, but I think that I am close enough where I should be able to just practice for a bit with other illusion skills. And, oh, what was I... It was a light. I think it was this one. This. Give me night vision. It's Listen, I could never sleep in a room with a giant ah! rat. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, who are you? Well, some somebody changed. I just felt at the last moment I shouldn't hit this thing. All right. So if the others haven't attacked it yet, then apparently it's supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, okay, as a new journeyman of illusion, I know what it is and isn't real, and how to fool the minds of my opponents. I can now cast journeyman level illusion spells, which I think is enough to get me what I want. So... Okay, where was it again? So I don't think I'm going to need boy. Well, you should always have that. Beast of Burden is a good spell. Uh, okay, so let's see about that spell. Well, it's all fine and good to be invisible. However, I'm going to need to change... My outfit. Shrouded armor, shrouded hood. Oh, now I look like them. Not as dark as midnight, but it is dark. Alright. I'm over encumbered, unfortunately. <laughs> I probably would have to drop off my Daedric armor. Yeah, unfortunately, my boots provide a nice feather enchantment, so. I mean, I could leave it in a chest. If I lose it, well, that would be bad if I lost it. So, let's put it back on for now. Where is my hood? Is there a chest for me? Well, I guess I could always give the armor to Vilya. Is this a love letter? I was heartbroken when you rejected me. Tell me what I can do to win your heart. I will slay trolls, walk through thorns, fast for a week. Please don't shut me out of your life. I love you more than a flower needs sunshine, your penitent lover. Not very well written. Someone's shopping list. Beer. Lots of beer. New mugs. Enough fruit for 12 guests. Eight loaves of bread. Roast boar. Well, this sounds like any uh, shopping list to be found in Skyrim. Book of Daedra. I'm a bit past to know what to say about Black Rock Cave. There's an entire ship down there, miles and miles from the coast. Black Rock Cave. Wine. They do have wine here. I could just take it and have it whenever I want. Huh? Okay. Well, I'll have some right now. Uh, I can feel my smarts being taken away from me. Okay, so let's go to the Imperial City then. All I have to do is go to the Mage Guild and get over there right away. Okay, Vilya. Maybe we should repair our armor. It actually doesn't look too bad on you. Obviously with the helm change, but... Hmm. I thought Daedric armor looked absolutely horrible. It doesn't look too bad on her. So, I am in my assassination outfit with my great big shield. I believe that this is the Marie Elena right here. So that's the balcony, huh? Well, there's a high elf down there. Could I climb that? Wet, wet, cold, 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 cold. Ah. Maybe I should go and speak to this person. See what they have to say. How are you today? Oh, you're friendly. Any friend of Martin's is a friend of mine. How can I help you? You mean Emperor Martin? Okay. Oh. Take care. Take care. Well, she's a little close. She could probably see me. Unless she's blind. I mean, I can leap pretty far, right? 
I think the, the guards seeing me would be a very good idea. Where are you going, guard? I can't believe I made that jump. Oh, there's little crossbows here. All right, well. I can't seem to use this. This isn't helping at all. I'm not even sure if I have the right ship, truth be told. Well, it could be that one over there. But still. That was a pretty good jump. I'm pretty sure I'm on the right ship, or maybe I'm not, actually. But that was a good jump. Wow. Ah, uh, the ship where they kept on telling me not to come on, or they're going to kill me. Oh, well, that must be where they were talking about. If I get over the other side, I can jump down from there onto there. Possibly. I certainly can't do it from over here. Well, you know what? I wouldn't feel so bad killing the whole crew. They're all pirates. They threatened my life a few times. The only problem is that I'm not used to using light armor. You're a fit one. Been running a lot. Thank you for staring at my body. Oh, hey, sweet lady of way, rest. Oh, hey, sweet lady of mine. Oh, I'll see you again. Yes, I'll see you again. Sweet lady of way, rest so fine. <laughs> you miss High Rock, do you? I ain't got nothing to say to you, Fancy Pants. So why don't you mind your own business, eh? Fancy Pants, huh? Heard any rumors lately? I'm glad that the Oblivion Crisis is over, of course. But I can't help wondering what happens to the Empire now? That's the big question, isn't it? Shove off. Yeah, you shove off. Good day to you. I hope I made myself clear the first time. If you get near that ship, you'll end up dead. Now get out of my face! I think this is the third time you've told me this. Shove off. I believe I could effectively hide in this crate and then be transported to the pirate ship Marie Elena. Do I wish to hide on the crate or try to find my own way on board the ship? Do not hide in the crate. Well, she's over there staring at me. She's already threatened me several times, so this isn't probably the best time to jump over onto the boat. Well, what I'm doing... Looks, uh, I could easily jump that. There's a door down there, too. She's not looking. No one's looking. I can pick this lock. My shadow key. Or skeleton key. I have gained access to the captain's cabin of the ship Marie Elena. I must now kill Gas and Toussaint. What in blazes? You ain't one of me crew. You best start explaining yourself, mate, if you want to get off this ship alive. The Dreadfather summons you. Ah, what are you, some kind of preacher or something? One of them crazies from the church? I ain't got time for this. Oh, you should be dead. Ah! Oh. ah. Gaston Tussaud is dead. I must now return to the Sanctuary and speak with Vincente Valteri to receive my reward. It better not be a vampire bite. Captain! <gasps> Captain! What's the Argonian maid? Well, I'll take your Nurnroot. Time to get out. 
probably could have been some loot in there. Oh well. I hit him good from behind and he didn't die. It was a tough one. And I've killed Daedra, I've killed Mankar Cameron with this mace. Perhaps I should be using a different weapon for this kind of work. I mean, getting bashed over the skull by a pointy mace, you would think would be enough to take somebody out in the first try, but apparently not. I had to have this blade of woe, but compared to my mace of Molag Ball, it just doesn't seem to. Maybe I'll experiment. Well, anyways. Where is Vilya? She's over here. Alright, so... Other than the fact that I look very suspicious running around in this outfit... <laughs> we did good. We did well. I don't mind the killing of people. Especially if I'm gonna get paid for it. What I do mind is... Joining some kind of Daedric cult. And apparently they're not really... Has nothing to do with Daedra at all, so... I'm a little confused. I don't like the vampire either, but... Oh well. Let's return back to Shadenhall. Be shy. I hope the work at Vatican goes well. Everyone wants to know what really happened in the temple. What happened to Martin? Was the fiery dragon really Akatosh? So I've heard. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? I understand Daedra worship has My become pleasure, increasingly really. prevalent How in the Somerset it? Isle. Fantastic. The Alchemists are powerful wizards. Great. It could be Have a dangerous situation. Move. Goodbye. Amazing. Bye. Figured while Jeez. I'm here, I might as well. You're about are you? It's Sorry. a damn shame. I haven't been giving the project the attention it deserves. The last report I received from Scalil indicated there was some sort of problem. A blocked passage or something that they couldn't get past. I'd investigate it further, but oh. I'm needed here with the council. Ramanus says you've got a good head on your shoulders. Look into it for me, will you? You can find Scalil at the site. Access is restricted, so you'll need this key. This at an Aelid site? Vaktikin? That's what you're talking about. What can you tell me now? What's been going on in Imperial City? Every time I walk past the temple, I'll remember that terrible day and how you and Martin delivered us from destruction. Mm hmm. And Skalil, he's the person I'm to meet at Vakteten? Vateken? She's the mage heading up the on site research. She can tell you more about whatever it is that's impeding their progress. And where is Vakteken? It's an alien ruin southwest of Chadenhall. We suspect that there are some interesting things inside, so a research project was established. Skalil is there now, working on investigating the ruins. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, so, I mean, I figured while I was here at the Arcane University, I might as well speak to the next person that's to give me work. So, um, Vatican is very close to Shadenhall, and that's where I'm going to return. I hear you. you smell of What's death. the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Been conjuring. To Shadenhall we go. Hello? Hello? Vaktikin. No, I don't remember I've heard of... I don't think I've heard of that one. Perhaps there's uh, an, an old alien... Look at all the Denmark children over there. Hmm. I could have children myself one day. With Vilya, if all works as planned. Well, I have... Uh, Whose dog is this? Oh, probably one of the kids. Another dog. What would our children look like? Blonde, I assume. I don't think anyone in her lineage wasn't blonde. I have a lot of redheads and blondes in mine. Uh, which place was it? Uh, oh, there's the well. Okay. I tried climbing up, but the well door didn't open. And I was told I need a proper key for it. Oh. 
is dark. Well, this is a lot more ominous when there's not much light in the room. I'm so used to the light enchantment on my armor. Alright, so I'm going to see the vampire. Uh, it's got a Cyrodiilic name. Imperial name. You are like a dark gift from the Night Mother herself. Please, tell me how I can help. So, the pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion. Hmm. That's it. Uh, I, I guess I have to get another contract from him. What, what did he... Let me see this. Black Band. Oh. Resists magic enchantment? That actually is pretty good. <laughs> it's better than my current resist magic ring. Wow. Who would have thought I'd get a better ring from the Dark Brotherhood? It also helps me with light armor. Enchants my um, ability to use light armor. And uh, pick locks. So... Uh, I do have... Maybe I can get rid of this one. And use this black band. And this way I have a lot of... Um, what is it? Resist magic. Hmm. Hey, uh, don't go anywhere. I'm glad you've returned. The contract is waiting. If you're ready. Well, give me the contract then. We need you to stage an accident. Kill the target in the manner specified, and you'll receive a considerable bonus. Oh, that sounds interesting. Do you accept this contract? Yes, I accept the contract. I have no idea what it is. Why are you even ask me that until you tell me the details? I hate it when people do that. Will you accept this? And you, it's either that, yes, accept, or walk away. And yet you don't even know what it's about. Tell me what the contract is about. As I expected. Good. The target is a wood elf named Bainlin. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favourite chair. Ah. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8pm and 11pm, and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Now go, and may Sithis be with you. Actually, I like the idea of being able to do things like this. I don't know how it's sitting with Vilya. Make an accident happen, huh? Alright, well, well, while we're here... I think we're going to go down to Vatican next. And then we can go up to Bruma and kill this uh, wood elf. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.